On Thursday 23rd of June 2016, the United Kingdom were given the right to vote on whether to remain in the EU or leave. On Friday 24th of June 2016, the UK had decided to leave with 52% of the vote. I currently reside in Lowestoft, the most easterly point of the United Kingdom, which is controlled by Waveney District Council. The inhabitants of Waveney decided to leave with 62.9% of the vote. On such an historic day, I decided to grab my camera and get some opinions from the people of Lowestoft. What was your vote for? Was it for remain or for leave? My vote was for leave. Okay, and could I just uh, ask now that it's all gone through and that we have uh, opted to leave the European Union, how you feel about it? I'm very happy. I, I was very surprised, to be honest. I thought that we would uh, have remained with what was the news that more people I thought were going to remain than were going to leave, but I'm glad that it was leave. And could I just ask maybe just one or two things that made you want to vote leave? Yeah, sure. There would be, well, the immigration problems that we have here to tighten our borders up. Okay. Um, but also, I think we can survive on our own as a country. And just lastly, how do you feel about David Cameron uh, stepping down as Prime Minister? I think that that's the best thing he could have done, to be honest with you, yeah. I think it's a good idea, but it's who we're going to get in, in his place now, which is the worry. So, yeah, I think it's the best thing he'd done. OK, thank you very much. No problem. Hello, sir, could I just ask you which way did you vote in the EU election? Yes, I voted for Remain. And could I just ask you uh, why you went for Remain? Because if we voted for leave, then it's a step in the dark because nobody knows what would happen after we, uh, after we left. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about immigration and such like, but if we leave the EU, if, now we've left the EU, what are the French going to do about the guys at uh, Calais and this and the other? So, you know. The leave side don't know what's going to happen. So are you disappointed by the vote? I'm very disappointed. And can I just ask one more question? Uh, what do you think about David Cameron stepping down? I think David Cameron has been a reasonable Prime Minister, but what I hope is Boris doesn't take over as leader. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. OK, hello, madam. Could I just ask you which way you voted in the EU referendum? E. OK, and can I just ask you, now that it's happened, the vote's happened, how do you feel about it? Um, a bit on the thing. Um, the reason I voted in was because I, I believe rather the devil I know than the devil I don't know. And how do you feel about David Cameron stepping down? Thank God for that. <laughs> I'm just turning to you, sir. Can I just ask which way you voted in the referendum? Out. And now that it's happened, how do you feel? Delighted. Um, can I just ask maybe what was one of the main reasons why you voted out? I prefer controlling our own country. And with David Cameron stepping down, how do you feel about that? No problem. Come on, Morris. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope so, right? Why not? We'll all end up in an asylum. <laughs> He's a nutter. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. That's all right. Nice. Hello, sir. Hi. So, can I just ask which way you voted in the EU referendum? Yeah, I voted to leave. Okay, and now that the uh, referendum's over and the result is out there, how do you feel? Very pleased. Very pleased. And could I just ask, just what were a couple of reasons why you wanted to vote out? Uh, I think after we've won two world wars, to be honest, Britain, we can stand on our own two feet. We saved Europe from invasion twice, and I don't see why we, why we should have to bow down. To, to the EU, basically, to Brussels. And could I just ask, uh, how do you feel about David Cameron uh, stepping down? I was as happy about that as I was about the Leave campaign winning. Thank you very much. <laughs> With the UK voting to leave the EU, we find ourselves in unknown territory, and for now, very choppy waters. Only time will tell if this was the correct decision.